Allie Navarrete alongside Matt Scalzo and Cam Mana for post-game Tomahawk Talk. Some serious resilience from the Braves today, but they could not come out on the other side. Fall 9-5 to to Brewster, 0-2 to the Whitecaps on the season. Matt, the game started with Marcus Morgan on the mound. Tell us about his day. It was an up and down debut for Marcus Morgan. Had some good strikeouts, also dealt with some troubles with some walks. And, you know, that's going to happen for a pitcher. Sometimes are, are, you're on, sometimes you're off. It's been 20 days since Marcus Morgan had a start uh, with Iowa. But overall, it was a good debut for him. He worked around trouble, didn't give up too much hard contact, gave up some easy plays, allowed his defense to make the plays. I think it's going to be a good summer for Marcus if he keeps doing those same things, just working around those walks. and. I'm sure with time he'll get into his groove. And Cam, I mentioned it in the open, resilience from the Braves, especially in the middle of this game. Yeah, a big seventh inning for this team. And from the start, this looked like a pitcher's duel for both sides, but the Braves came around, and we were talking on the broadcast, could Bourne get their first comeback win of the season? And they showed that when their backs were against the wall, they had some juice in them. Just that one tough inning, once again, it kind of goes back to the old ways for Bourne. They played most of a complete game, that one tough inning. But we saw towards the end, too, that home run from Joey Loind as well. So some bright spots today for Bourne, and that resilience was definitely there. Now, a really tough opponent tomorrow in Katua. It'll be the third time the Braves take on the Ketteliers this season. Matt, they've already lost twice. Can things turn around tomorrow at Lowell Park? Well, you're hoping third time's a charm, and they'll be facing the same pitcher again in Tucker Nervotny. And he's an interesting left-handed pitcher. He doesn't throw too hard, but his wind-up and delivery is a little slower and makes it tough on hitters to pick up on it. But right now, you just got to wash this tough loss out of your memory, take your steps towards tomorrow, and... I think the biggest thing going for Bourne is that there's so many guys in the lineup now that Novotny and this Katuit side didn't see the first two times around. And so you just got a whole new fresh face. You just reset yourself back to basically 0-0 on the year and dig in for tomorrow. We'll see if the Braves can get their first win over Katuit tomorrow night. Ali Navarrete here post game with tonight's third baseman, Joey Loin. Obviously, Joey, team couldn't get it done, but you had a really great moment there in the bottom of the ninth, hit your first home run on the Cape. How'd that feel? Definitely felt good. Um, off the barrel felt great. And uh, it's just good to get the first one out the way. Totally. And, you know, you guys had some chances there. What was the mindset fighting back to come back in the middle of the game against Brewster? Um, they had a good pitching staff. They had a couple of relievers. Um, they were good attacking the zone with the fastball. We were just trying to um, string a couple across and making make them make errors. And we just couldn't get it done tonight. And how do you guys rebound facing a really hot Katuit team tomorrow? Um, we're going to face the same pitcher for a third time in a row. So, uh, we're open in there. Uh, we have his number, hopefully, and build off that and start a winning streak again. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.